Hi there and welcome. This is our Timu Hall video. We've got lots to bring you, lots of exciting stuff. There is a discount code available, which you can see now in the bottom of your screen. And everything that we're showing you is also detailed at the top of the screen, along with prices. There are other coupon bundles available. Everything's linked in the description box as per usual with all of our videos. So I hope you enjoy this. This is a bottle opener resin mold kit. Lots of different styles of bottle opener here, uh, along with that will uh, that I just showed you just there, will allow you to be actually just place it on a hook. There's also this rather cute little bottle mold here, which isn't a bottle opener, but would look great on a key ring. So I've got one in the shape of a wine uh, of a wine glass, one a round one, and look at this one in the shape of a beer bottle. Ideal for a Father's Day gift or a gift for the man in your life. Um, and look look at the wine glass one, look fantastic. So this is the other side of the mold. They're made from good quality silicon, good quality silicon. But as usual, when you're using molds, no matter what price you've paid for them, this one is very, very reasonably priced at 279 make sure that you take care so you don't split them. Now, also what comes in this kit is this little bag of accessories. So once you've poured your resin in, decided on your design and done all that and it's cured and you've demolded it, you now need to put these little round pieces of metal in the center and you need to screw them into place. Now, this rather handy little screwdriver tool comes with the kit, along with some little miniature screws to use as well. I would recommend doing this probably not long after the resin has cured. We usually use our leave as to the following day, that's then when we do this. So it's still soft, it's not tacky to the touch, but it's still soft enough so you can screw that into place and then just place them flat so they can finish curing. So that is an ideal mold with lots of different styles of bottle opener, all kinds of designs, colours, themes that you could use that for. This is the second set that we got. It's three pieces of square silicon moulds. So you've got a very big one, then you've got a smaller and then a slightly smaller again. It's $10.99. Very, very reasonably priced considering you're not getting just one big mould here. You are getting two further moulds. So if you like, I would say three for the price of one here. It's good quality silicon again. It's got an edging around the top of the biggest one. It's um, it's quite a good size. I'm just going to get the ruler and have a little measure for you. Um, here we go. I think in recollection this one was six inches by six inches. I'm afraid I do still work in inches. Sorry, I wouldn't know what that is in centimetres. Um, so here you can see, so about six inches wide by uh yeah about six inches by about six inches high so width and length exactly the same because this is a square mold and again i think it was about two inches in depth so it's going to take quite a bit of resin yeah two inches in depth it's again made from very good quality silicon we've got these supporting bars along each side there's two on each side of the mold it's going to provide stability so that when your resin is curing you've not got any worries about it leaking over the sides or not holding its shape this would look stunning um, as uh, bookends you could put little flights in to make lights now we made these lovely little fish um, from a previous mold that we got from a previous Timu haul why not check out our previous Timu haul video it'll be linked in the description box you could make a lovely design using those and maybe some lily pad leaves and some water effect resin and so on looks stunning lots and lots of things you could use it for this is the second one so this is quite a bit smaller these two uh, smaller ones are quite a bit smaller than the uh, biggest one. It's almost four inches by four inches, almost, at its widest parts, and it's about three quarters of an inch deep. It's very flexible. There are no supporting bar pieces on it because, to be honest, it's not required. And then this is the smallest one out of the set of three. Again, it's almost three and a half inches by almost three and a half inches there same sort of depth 
uh, as well. So you're looking at about three quarters of an inch deep. So it wouldn't take a massive amount of resin. Obviously, you take more than a coaster would. Um, but again, ideal, you could use it for all kinds of things. This is the oversized round bowl. Now, this one I had been waiting for for a while, and I'm so pleased it came up in our um, selection of moulds that we could choose. So we've chosen these from Timu. They've sent, sent them to us. Um, we're not paid for this and uh, this video, but as part of an agreement that we have with them, we will then talk about their products, their website, their app, all of which are very easy to use. We've never had any issues at all with any of their products that we've ordered. But obviously, like with everything you buy online, make sure you read the description, you check the dimensions and so on. This one, uh, you saw me just measuring there, is a very good size bowl. I wouldn't say it's oversized, it's just very good size. It's got the uh, two supporting bars made from thicker silicon. It's got very good, I mean, the walls of the mold are very good. It's still flexible enough, so you shouldn't have any problems demolding it. It's a very reasonable price at £8.49. And look, I'm just trying to demo here that what you could do, you could put shells down in the sides, little miniature shells. Uh, you could put glitter. You could dust it with lots of different colours of mica powders. You know I've got a thing about mica powders. Um... I'm trying not to think about this one in that lovely golden metallic mica I've been using a lot of recently, but it would look stunning. You could put all kinds of things in it. If you're going to put fruit in it, use food grade safe, um, food safe uh, grade resin. This, now I haven't seen this anywhere else. I haven't seen it on any other online shopping places at all. It's their Elegant Rose Flower Mold. Now I thought at first when this came through it was a flower pot with just a rose head on the top, but it isn't. It is actually like a big head of a rose flower. It's $8.99. It's a bit more, should we just say, um, cost-wise, but it's, it's beautiful. And I mean, if you're going to sell these, what you make from this, you are going to more than make your money back in your, with your first sale, definitely. Now, look at the detail on these. Now, these, unfortunately, the camera's not picking up ever so well. Those are leaves. And then you've got the outer petals of the rose flower. Um, you could dust it with all those different colours, raspberry pinks, reds, mauves, yellows, oranges. And then look at the detail. Now, this is the lid part of the mould. It's the lid. This is a pot, in case I hadn't said it before. Um, so you could keep all kinds of things in it. It's stunning, look lovely in a dressing room, a bathroom, a bedroom. Um, you know, I mean, you could have it as a pot to keep things in, or you could just have it as a nice little accessory for your home. Lots and lots of ways, different ways you could use this. Oh, look at the metallic powders in it as well. Wow, gold, silver, bronze, copper colours, and to be a bit controversial, or maybe a black. How about that? black and white go for a whole monochrome ideal but that is beautiful can't wait to use that and bring that to you in some future creation videos now this is the first set it's a mushroom <laughs> yes you heard me it's a mushroom shaped or should i say toadstool style pot it's a gorgeous little pot it's not ever so big it's just big enough um, for you to put you know little knickknacks and things in maybe a few little keepsakes and so on uh, it's got the supporting bars along the bottom there the base of the pot and it's also got it along the lid and look at the detail in this lid now this I couldn't believe this one pound fifty seven one pound fifty seven now that's a lot less than what you'd pay if you went out and you tried to just get a regular cup of coffee these days. Um, but it's got the supporting bits there for the lid. So you know that when you turn it up the other way and you pour in your resin or you dust it with the mica powders and then pour in the resin, it's going to be sturdy enough so that when the resin is curing, it, you're not going to have any spillages. It's not going to lose its shape. And then it's going to be flexible enough for you to then demold it. Now, look at that. That is so cute. So cute. Again, all kinds of colours. You could go for the typical red top, white or creamy coloured base. 
um, and then outline those little circles you can see on the lid detail, maybe in white as well. Why not go the whole hog, make a little ladybird out of some silicon in a mould and put that on the lid or a little butterfly or dragonfly. Uh, if you look back through our playlist, you'll see me and, uh, and Wayne making butterflies, dragonflies as well uh, in, previous, uh, in previous videos and what we've done with those. But that's just that's just lovely. Very, very nice little mould there. This is the second one. This is very similar. I've called the Mushroom House. <laughs> it's uh, £3.27 again. Less than, uh, uh, than uh, you know, your cappuccino or your latte from a lot of places. It's in two parts, so it comes here with the lid. Now, there was a little bit of um, sticky plastic on this, which I then peel off. Um, it's got an immense amount of detail on this. Again, it's got the little circles, which is your traditional sort of look. Yeah, well, that's a little bit of plastic there. Uh, but it's got the round circles. It's got a chimney. Oh my God, yes, a chimney and a window. <laughs> so I might sound like I'm going a bit crazy or crackers here, but I can't get over the detail on this mould and how sweet and whimsical and fairy-like it would look. So I'm just showing you how flexible this mould is, but also at the same time how sturdy it will be when it's curing, when the resin is in it, or your EcoFlow, if you're using that, resin creates your, your Elichem stuff or your Jesmonite, it's still going to be sturdy enough to actually not worry about it getting misshapen when it's curing. Now, again, we've got the the um, the, the two little um, support bars across the base of this pot. Look at that detail. That's the door. And it's got little mushrooms either side of the front door. And then the detail in the windows. I mean, you know, you don't have to go overboard with this. What you could just do is do the base in um, white or off-white and then do the lid in red. And then what you could do is you could, if you've got acrylic pens and so on, you could then go round all the detail just drawing it in. Or you can go the full Monty as it were, you can go the whole hog and you could dust all those little individual details, the door, the windows, the little mini mushrooms either side of the doors, the window in the roof, the chimney, you could do it all in colours, different colours and then fill it with the resin and then when you demould it you'll have your beautiful little mushroom or toadstool house where maybe the little fairies live that might be at the bottom of your garden. <laughs> This would look lovely outside too. If you're going to use it outside as a garden ornament, um, very cute, very whimsical, but make sure you use the right kind of eco flow or uh, resin so that obviously once you've gone to all that trouble and you've made your creation, if you're going to keep it outside, it stays as it should and it doesn't get ruined by any weather that you have outside. But this is lovely again, a nice present for anybody, adults, children alike, lovely. So this is the first of two uh, molds that are very similar, uh, made of the same sort of plastic as this one, which we got previously from Timu, that was the one of the rose ones. It's a different color to the other molds. It's a very deep pink, vivid deep pink. And these are just literally called marine style pendant molds. Now, you could use them as pendants. The mold itself is very flexible. It's not a shiny mold. So when you pour your resin in here and it has cured, when you get the resin out, it's not going to have a shiny surface. So be aware of that. Um, this is £2.24. It's very reasonably priced. It's the kind of mould you could also use if you do cake decorating. Obviously, if you do cake decorating, don't use the same moulds for your cake decorating as you do for using things with resin. That would be a recipe for problems. So if you do that and you want one set for each, then buy one set for each. Um, but look at the detail in these shelves. There's lots and lots of detail. Unfortunately, oh, there we go. Look at that. So I would probably dust these with mica powders 
um, you know, I mean, you could do all kinds of colours in them. And then tap, turn it over, tap, tap, tap to get out the excess, get rid of the excess mica powder. And then I'd probably fill them with quite a dark coloured resin. I'd either use black or the same colour resin that I had dusted it with, the same colour mica powder that I dusted it with. But they don't take up very much, they're not very deep, so they don't take up very much resin at all. So if you've made another project and you've got some resin left over, why not keep this kind of mould to hand so you can just fill it up using the leftover resin that you have. But it's a very good mould. I mean, we would use it key rings handbag charms, maybe to decorate trays, coasters, you could inlay them. You could use them to decorate the tops of lids or for jars and pots. You could decorate the outsides of glass vases or pots for the garden. There's just, there's so many things that you could use this for. You could make two of each, um, maybe not the centre one, but the smaller ones and then glue them together and you'll have a completely more real, should we just say completely, not more real, 3D version of the thing itself, like the shell. And then you could use that as earrings. Oh my gosh, for the pendant part of an earring or the pendant part of a necklace set, they would look absolutely lovely. This is the second mould. Now this is a marine style pendant mould again, although I probably, mm, yeah, I suppose you could use some of it as pendants. Again, it's made from the pink, deep, vivid, pinky coloured silicon it's good quality but look at the detail this is more like the you know the coral plants underwater sort of images and foliage that you see and the same here as well i mean just think of the lovely vivid vibrant colors you could do these in now do you remember the fish that i showed you before how good would they look with this as inset into a tray or even as part of a 3D picture. Would look absolutely stunning. Now this mould is £3.14. It's very good quality for money. There's a lot of different individual moulds within one here. Look at this fish with all the scales and the details on the fins and the tail and the eye. The same here. Uh, you'll have to forgive me, I can't remember the type of name of this fish. I don't know if it's a clownfish or not. Obviously, that particular kind of fish made popular by a certain film. Um, and then we've got this one down here, which is beautiful. Again, look at all the detail. And you've got the eye and the scales and everything else. And the same on these here as well. And then on the bottom left there, I think that's more of an angel style fish. The one that's just under my thumb. Um, I mean, you could use your artistic license, make them all kinds of colours. Or you can look, you can obviously reference things uh, on search engines to see what they look like in real life, in the natural world. And then you can dust them with mica powder. So don't forget, this is a matte mould. It's not a shiny one. But how good would this look as part of a picture or decorating photo frames? Now, here we're moving on. Not a mould this time. This is called Sparkling Crystal White Mica Powder. And Boy, does it give a pop of sparkle. It's £2.49. It's extremely good value for money. Extremely good. Now, it does come with a label there with all kinds of information on it. It is called Crystal White. The only thing I would say is it doesn't have a seal across the top of the bottle. So go careful when you're opening it. But look at that, even right around the rim of the bottle there and inside. I mean, it looks quite deeply pigmented and certainly there on my finger it is. Look at that. Ah, it's, it's, it's going on almost like a metallic powder. Now I have found this with another um, mica powder in our previous videos, which is a golden color. It's gold and it goes on more like a metallic powder than a mica, but they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful, stunning. Lots of things we can do with that. Here is the sparkling mica set. Now there are 10 plastic, little plastic bags full of lovely sparkliness in here for £4.48. 
Now, here's the first one. Now, <laughs> I do do something a bit crazy here and I do get some of it out and put it on my hand. So, um, mm, yeah, make sure if you do do anything like that, obviously, if you're going to use mica powders, you wear a uh, respirator or a medical mask and that you wear gloves if you don't want it getting on your fingers or your skin. But look at that beautiful, beautiful pink colour. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Will look lovely just in clear resin. You could probably add it to um, if you've added uh, an alcohol ink of a similar colour. You can add some of this. It'll give it a little bit of a pop, a little bit of sparkle. So I'm just flicking that bag, trying to get the mica powder in this one to move down to the bottom. Now that is a very, very pale lemony yellow or very, very pale gold. I can't know if you can see those little bits of sparkling going on there uh, outside of the bags. So that's ha what happens. It will come up out of the bag. Um, so here we go. Here's the third one. That is very, look at that sparkling away. That is very much a rich um corally orange sort of color which i think i'm now getting yes i'm now getting mica powder all over my hands if you do get it on your hands it will just wash off with general just soap and water or a bit of dish soap or general soap just rinse it off dry hands otherwise if you're like me and you'll get it in your hair on your face over your clothing usual look at that beautiful blue oh little sparkle sparkles gotten up into the atmosphere I've lost count as how many we've done so far, actually. Um, and here we go. This is just a, a deeper pinky colour than the first one. Beautiful colour, that is. I would say use these quite sparingly just to see what they're like. And if it's not a deep enough cut or it's not got enough coverage or it's not a deep enough colour or mix or effect, add a little bit more. Look at that beautiful, deep, orangey, golden colour there. Here we go. Just opening it up. Beautiful silver. Look at that. Mmm. Winter themed or monochrome themed projects, I think. Gorgeous. Another lovely bluey colour. I would say this is a bl more a deeper colour blue than the previous one. Look at that mermaids that's what i think of when i see that color mermaids make sure that when obviously when you finish using uh the mica you do completely reseal the bag what you can't see is wayne is taking these from me off camera and completely resealing them just to make sure that they don't spill out everywhere and that is a violet now i call that violet it reminds me of a sweet that my granny used to eat when i was little called palma violets and as I said, this is excellent money. It is such good value for £4.48. So basically, 44 45 pence per sachet. Look at that. That's four, five. So that's the colours there. The white, the silver, the deep blue, the mauve or the violet and that lovely warm orangey gold. The light pink, the deeper pink, the pale, pale lemony gold colour. The beautiful orange coral and then the deeper blue. That's 10. I mean, you can't buy those for, 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 for what each for what we had there as a price. It's such a good value. Now this, this is our final bit. This is the two piece set balloon dog. It's $4.99. So that's just short of five pounds for two molds. Look at him so cute with a little bubble on the nose did any of you go to parties when you're younger or have children who you used to do parties for or do currently do parties for what a nice little giveaway gift for them to take away in their party bag would work ideally just as well as a keyring charm handbag charm uh backpack charm <laughs> or what about putting it on your suitcase tag so you know which suitcase is yours when it's coming off of the suitcase collection. What do you call it? Um, oh, gosh, I've forgotten what you call it. When you go to the airport and you go and collect your suitcase, 
Oh, I can't remember that. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, you would know it's yours. Um, but just showing you the measurements, that's a smaller one. This is the one that's slightly bigger. These are supposed to imitate the um, balloon dogs that are made from the modelling balloons that a lot of people see at parties, particularly children's parties and events. Now, they have got um, some support. But I would say when you, you just before you put your resin in that you make sure that you've put something around it to give it a bit more so it's a bit more sturdy because obviously you don't want to go to a lot of trouble creating decorating the molds filling them up in resin and then finding that it actually falls over now they're again 4.99 excellent value for money really good quality molds and can't wait to bring you videos showing you everything that we've showcased in this Timu Hall video thanks for watching thanks for liking sharing subscribing and we'll be back again with you soon with another creation video. Bye-bye.